Hello Planet YouTube, uh, it's John and back and uh, we're going to have a look at uh, gloves today because you can see lying on the floor in front of me we have a wide variety that I've uh, been feeding my addiction for uh, hand protection with over actually several years um, usually we use gloves or primarily I originally used gloves just to keep my hands warm but as I've done dafter stuff you realise you need protection from abrasion and, and various other things um, for safety's sake and um, because of that I've acquired a huge um, array and I'm always on the quest for better or newer gloves to do what uh, what I want. Um, one of the pairs that started it all for me are these good old Mechanics Originals. You can see these are my original originals so to speak because I've managed to wear through the fingers. Now this is by no means a uh, a negative against against my original mechanics gloves. They're probably about six, seven years old at this point, and they've taken a fair old beating. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably cut these two fingers off and turn them into uh, some shooting glove or use them for shooting or something. Um, fantastically good fit, very close fit around the fingers and thumbs, giving me massive, massive amount of dexterity. Sorry if you can hear rain landed on the roof, it's absolutely hammering it down here. Um, so that's my original Mechanics Gloves. Because I was so impressed with Mechanics Gloves, I bought a pair, another pair, and I bought them off eBay. And this is them. Stick them on. Now you can see, looking at these, they don't look like they're faring very well. And that's because, despite uh, all the pictures and so on on eBay, and uh, the labelling which you can see these were actually a fake pair that I bought for about six pounds from China and you can see how badly they're worn they're, they're probably maybe two years old probably half the age of the others and the material because it's a substandard material um, it has bubbled they are a nice fit and they are quite a well made glove if they had their own brand and they were sort of price, I think I paid about 5 or £6 pounds for them delivered instead of about £16 pounds for a genuine pair um, it's not. It's a glove I'd probably consider as a, a cheap glove but obviously it's a shame for mechanics because it's tarnishing their name with a, a substandard glove um, and there's the, yeah, another pair of mechanics fa um, originals here, I have got some mechanics fast fit gloves somewhere but unfortunately they're currently AWOL, I can't find them. Uh, the fast fits now have an elastic speed fit cuff around the top. Mine was an older pair with Velcro. Um, they're not quite as nice a glove, but then again, they are cheaper. And they give, um, they do provide a service. They're a, light, a slightly lighter glove than this again. Um, they, are, uh, they are worth owning, definitely. Another uh, light protection, high dexterity glove, which I've happened across recently, is the uh, Dirty Rigger range. Now these are a British company, they're designed primarily for stage riggers. Um, listen to that rain, it really is horrible outside. Um, I've not had these very long. Um, they are slightly heavier protection than the Mechanics Originals in that they've got extra padding here and here. But um, in terms of dexterity, the way the fingers are sewn, they're not quite as good. They're probably more protection, they're probably slightly heavier duty than a Mechanics Original. But um, in terms of uh, dexterity, I do tend to pick my Mechanics Originals over the top. They are a good glove though, but they are similar price to Mechanics Originals, and given the two, I'd probably pick the Mechanics Original. Um, Going up a notch in protection levels again, I'll drag these in. Is that the right one? Ye uh, protector, yeah. I um, started buying heavier duty gloves because I used, I used to have a winch on my uh, Land Rover and I'm still a qualified winch instructor, so we were routinely given cheap gardening gloves, which if you're lucky are a pound a pair, and if you buy them trade I'm told they're about 20 pence a pair. They are, they do offer good protection, but they're absolutely no use when it comes to dexterity. So when you're trying to rig uh, or de-rig things and manipulate shackle, shackle pins, you end up taking them off, which defeats the object of having the gloves in the first place. 
So on my travels I picked up these, which I don't know if you can make out, Wells Lamont. Originally these were badged as Wells Lamont SUG or SUG gloves, standing for Sport Utility Glove. Uh, I think they've been rebranded as something else now, but it's a pigskin glove with a synthetic back. It's a really good glove, reasonable or quite good dexterity, certainly good enough that I don't need to, I can do shackle pins and, and a hook. Uh, the mouse, the safety pin on a clevis hook without any problems. Um, do offer some thermal, in a little bit of thermal insulation as do any glove, um, but they are very, very tough. And being leather, I can grab, you know, pans off the fire and things in them as well when we're camping, without too much worry. So they're um, they're one of my uh, rugged, at higher level or or you know higher safety. They offer some puncture resistance, some cut resistance against. Uh, against bits of wire sticking out of wire winch cables and so on. So that's the Wells Lamont SUGs or the Wells Lamont gloves. Great favourite. I've literally only had these about a week and I haven't done any winching in them yet. And this is a Mechanics 4X Impact. Uh, a synthetic leather finger and palm. Extra protection across the uh, palm there. Again, very good dexterity. Some extra knuckle protection. I'm really looking forward to getting getting into using these. Um, that is going to be a new favourite glove, I think. Um, a bit over the kit, over top for most of what I need with the, all the extra knuckle protection. But it'll be nice to have, and it'll it'll look the business when I'm out in the out in the wilds winching away. Uh, on the similar vein, we've got the uh, the um, the what brand are we on? The Dirty Riggers again, Dirty Rigger Protector. Now this is a very high spec glove. It is, gives you massive um, protection from cuts and abrasions. If I can get put them on, there is, uh, I believe, the Spectra material in the in the palms, which is one of the knife and cut resisting materials. They've got high grip, rough finish, and again padding, extra padding here and here to give more cut resistance. Um, knuckle and finger protection really really good glove perhaps not because of the way the thumb's sewn perhaps not quite as dexterous as the um, oh, I hope this rain's not drowning me out perhaps not quite the same dexterity as the mechanic but certainly as good or better protection than the mechanic's gloves offer ok um, the rain's still hammering down but just wanted to do the last couple of pairs before we uh, before I finish. Uh, we've got Dirty Rigger Sub-Zeros, these have a material called Thinsulate inside them. Um, when I first tried them on they did feel vaguely warm but having um, been out in the workshop in them yesterday it was 3-4 degrees in the workshop and to be honest they didn't do a massively good job of um, keeping the heat in again quite a bulky thumb makes that dexterity a little bit harder on screen tops on bottles things like that um, still plenty of protection nice padding bits uh, a good, good, good glove just not as warm as I'd like it to be for a, a, a thin slate or an insulated glove these are my other um, waterproof cold weather pair they're made by a company called Youngstown I think they're called framers gloves or cold weather framing gloves um, they've got a snot wiper for when your nose drips um, again not as warm as like it to be they've got ins thermal insulation in um, not as much padding on the palm a little bit more dexterity not much in it um, for what I use them for which is uh, cleaning the Land Rovers when we finish working the cold um, and the wet um, it's, uh, it's pretty good okay thanks a lot guys bye